be undone. Don't be so sure. The Wolverine finds Logan at a point after all the existing X-Men films where he's lost everyone he's ever known. And then he gets offered a kind of ticket out of the place he's at, figurative and literal cave he's hiding in, and ends up following that ticket where a labyrinth of adventure and mystery ensues. <laughs> There were several things that attracted me to this film. I think that the series of comics written by Chris Claremont and Frank Miller provided me a kind of umbrella because it took place 95% in Japan to kind of take this movie out of the context of the other films and set the tone I wanted to see. This sword is hundreds of years old. The ideal weapon for separating head and limb from body. <laughs> I have a long-standing friendship with Hugh Jackman that dates back over a decade. So the chance to work with him again was a huge opportunity for me. I'll never hurt you or anyone. It's too late. No! When you set out to explore deeper into a character that's already been in several movies, even played by that actor, you have a unique challenge. You know, I really don't bother when I'm telling the story to tell you how Logan became the Wolverine. He just is. Why does he have claws that come out of him? He just is. Why is his skeleton made of adamantium? It's up to you to know. So you have this unique challenge making the Wolverine, which is how do you make a film that's gonna deliver all the big action that these films, you know, promise? Run, now! same time, as a f filmmaker who's made a lot of dramas, you know, if there's anything I wanted to bring to the table, it wasn't just the fun of designing new action sequences, but it was trying to say, what happens if we let the horses run with an action sequence and then pull back and allow our characters to own the film for a few minutes without worrying that our audience is so impatient that they're gonna just run away from us? That was something from the dramatic films I've made, Girl Interrupted, Walk the Line, 310 to Yuma, I wanted to bring to this. The reality is that I think what always holds you to a story is character. So you've come to fight. Is that all the men you brought? <laughs> what kind of monster are you? The Wolverine. What I was really interested in was telling a story, and I think Part of because Fox had made all these X-Men movies and another Wolverine movie, and it felt that the fans were really wanting something different, I think I had a kind of permission, not only the allyship of my friend Hugh Jackman, but also the studio's blessing to try and do something differently. Something's not right. One thing you do making films like this, and I can see it already, and Hugh's experienced it um, five or six times, is you're gonna hear back from the fans. And he knew very well what people were wanting to see that they hadn't gotten to see. And I think that was very much in line with what I wanted to do. What are you? A viper? Movies can do one thing that no other medium can do. Besides showing you different worlds, besides taking you to places you never thought, they can get literally through a person's eyes into their soul. So the intimacy of a camera being six inches from another person, that's not even a space that we are safe occupying with one another. That's a kind of intimacy that is really exciting for me to see on a screen. In a way, it's the special effect that even when I'm making a non-special effect movie, I know is the thing that's gonna drive the film. It's not just the close-up, there's a kind of intimacy. It's that moment between words spoken where you're seeing deep into the person and the actor has no place to hide. Which even, by the way, the actors had to do their own stunt work because you're so physically with them. It's not about a larger ballet, but it's about actually feeling the decisions they're making and what they're feeling as these battles are going on. And I think that one thing that always gives me a high and makes me feel fulfilled making the picture is to carve out, even in a movie like this, to carve out a moment where you're just with them. You're inside their eyes, you're inside their mind, you're inside them.